once you've invited your child to do the spooning activity and he has placed the tray on the table, you begin. Remind um, your child to put their hands in their laps and watch the presentation. It's your turn. I'd like to just point out a few things um, about this presentation. Firstly, and the most importantly, is that this presentation and most Montessori presentations are done in complete silence. Notice that I didn't say, now you take this bowl, now you take this bowl, now you hold the spoon. Everything was done in silence so the child can watch and observe your movements instead of concentrating on your on your words. Um, the second thing is that I am right-handed so if you are right-handed sit on the right of your child so you don't block um, block the movements. If you are left-handed sit on the left of your child. Um, another thing to notice in this presentation or this activity is that the bowls are identical. Don't get um, two bowls that are different um, for a myriad of reasons, but uh, we are teaching it goes from the left to the right like we would eventually read. Um, so we don't want a child to think that they're reading from yellow to blue <laughs> when it's from blue to blue. <laughs> that, that, that needs to be the same. Um, and in the presentation, if for whatever reason um, the beans accidentally fall on the table, you just, um, with your hands, pick up the beans and replace them to place them in the bowl. If they potentially land on the floor, invite your child to sweep them up with, um, with the broom and return to the 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 activity. You can tell him that he can do this as many times as he likes and when he is finished um, to call you to show you him how to put it away or you could show him in the in the presentation this is how we put it away. And you would show him how to carry and place it back on the shelf where it belongs. Remember everything in its place and everything everything has a place and everything in its place. Enjoy spooning.